Wow, I just realized I know nothing about conservation laws. What am I gonna do? Well, Mateo, lucky for you, I can teach you conservation laws. Ah, oh, good stuff, man. Follow me to the classroom. So, what are conservation laws? Patience. <laughs> we'll learn once we get inside. It's too fucking dark. <laughs> That's one scene. Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about conservation laws. As you know, we already you know the main three: energy, energy and mass momentum and charge however we also, we also have to look at these new conservation laws the conservation of lepton number there are three types baryon numbers and charge okay so first let's look at the conservation of the lepton number previously we know that le there are six different types of leptons and we can pair them up so for the electron lepton number we look at the electron or the electron neutrino. For the tau lepton number, we look at the tau or the tau neutrino. And for the muon lepton number, we look at the muon or the muon neutrino. And now, for each of these three different types of lepton numbers, we have three different numbers based on whether it's a lepton, whether it's not or not a lepton, or an anti-lepton. So, if it has a lepton number of, if it, if it is a lepton, then it has a lepton number of 1. If it's not a lepton, it has a lepton number of 0. And if it's an anti-lepton, so the opposite of a lepton, it has a number of minus 1. In order for the, in order for some reactions and exchanges to be made, this number must be conserved throughout the reaction. Right, so let's go on to baryon numbers. So just a reminder, a baryon equals three quarks. So like the lepton number, it has to be balanced as well. So we write one if it is a baryon, zero if it's not a baryon, and minus one if it's anti-baryon. So now we will give an example of an equation where these numbers are conserved. So if we look at um, beta decay, for example, the equation is, a neutron decays into a beta minus particle, a proton, as well as an electron neutrino. Here, now let's look at the three different types of numbers to see if they are conserved or not. So if we look at the charge, the charge on a neutron is zero. Is it opened up in here? The charge, yeah, we're just finishing. The charge of a beta minus particle is minus one. The charge of a proton is plus one. And the charge of a neutrino is zero. Since these two cancel out, the charge overall charge is equal to zero. Therefore, it is conserved. For a lepton number, um, there are no a neutron is not a lepton, so that's zero. A beta minus particle is essentially an electron, so that has a lepton number of one. A proton is not a lepton, so that's zero. And an anti-neutrino is an anti-lepton, so it has minus one. And if we equate this, we also get zero, proving that this is conserved. Finally, if we look at the baryon number. Since a neutron is a baryon, this is 1. Since a beta minus particle is not a baryon, it's 0. Since a proton is a baryon, it's 1. And it's not, so it's a 0. So this number is also conserved. Thus, this can take place. Wow, that's just so interesting. And that's all, folks.